Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Palomino SS1200. With the SS1200, this camper is compatible with a half ton truck, three quarter ton or one ton truck, with a six and a half or an eight foot bed. To get started, I would like to point out the door. We do have the friction hinge door here, so it simply opens and just stays open right wherever you leave it. We do have the nice privacy curtain here that you can open up to let more daylight inside and close at nighttime. The oversized grab handle to help you get in and out of the camper, and that can also fold over on top of the um, entrance doors or traveling down the road, just as an extra security measure there. We do have the power uh, roof lift system here, so you'll notice a couple jacks all the way around the camper, and that is for the roof. We do have the porch light with an on and off switch on the outside. And this black box right here, it is pre-wired for an observation camera. So an observation camera will allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're going down the road and while you're backing up. And I know real popular with truck campers is hauling a boat behind you or a trailer. This will allow you to hook up easier for that and also keep an eye on that as you're going down the road. We do have the manual jacks on all four corners here. It does come with the manual crank or the adapter for a cordless screw gun. So you can put that right in your screw gun and use that to run the jacks up one at a time. On each corner, you're gonna see a uh, roof latch here. So that is just designed. So when you lower the roof, you put all four of those on to keep the roof down as you're traveling down the road. Right here, we have your refrigerator and your furnace vents. We do have the on-demand water heater, which is gas only, but it's only using gas when you're running the water. Um, so this is actually about 60% more efficient than what we've used in the past. Right here is your fresh water tank fill. So if you're gonna be boondocking or dry camping, you would fill up your fresh water tank right here and use your water pump to utilize that water. You have a couple 110 outlets right beside that. And below that is your outside shower with hot and cold water. And you do have the coil hose sprayer as well. This is a 30 amp unit. It comes with a 25 foot detachable power cord. And below that is gonna be your city water connection so if you're at a campground and you want to use the uh, water at the campground, you simply hook up your water hose to the camper and that will pressurize your lines for you. Underneath that is going to be the drain for the sink. So that does not go into a tank. It will simply drain right out the side of the camper. We recommend grabbing a water hose and running that into a tote to catch the runoff there. Up front in the corner, we have a lot going on. Um, you'll notice the red key. That is a 12 volt cutoff switch. So you can kill all 12 volt power to the battery. Right here is a little holder for your seven way cord. So if you're gonna unplug the camper, you can hang it right here so it's not just hanging down in the dirt. We do have a little solar port here. So you can alligator clip a portable solar panel on here and keep your battery charged up that way. And then this guy right here, the camper comes with a um, double sided male seven way cord. The, uh, um, the spot on the camper here is exactly what is on the back of your truck. So this plugs in here. The cord is long enough to run all the way back and plug into the back of your truck. And that is how you get power to your clearance lights and to charge your battery as you're going down the road. And on a side note, if you're gonna park for the night or leave the camper on the truck, uh, we recommend unplugging this from the camper. So that way, if your uh, battery dies on the camper, it doesn't draw power from your truck and potentially drain your truck battery as well. And I would also like to point out that we have the four inch bumpers up front here and it has the um, sliding window up front. We have the new black up front here with the Palomino decal. It's a very sharp look. And moving around, you'll notice we do have the emergency exit window and that is opened up at the moment. And in the very back with the door, you do have your 20 pound LP tank bottle and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. And I believe that concludes the outside of the SS 1200. Now we'll move to the inside. As we move to the inside, I wanted to show you the roof system here and how you can utilize the fan over the bed to help create a suction or a vacuum as you're closing up the camper. So what we've done is we've ran the roof down just a little bit here. Um, to save time, we're not going to run it all the way down. We have the, span, the fan on high right now above the bed, and I'm going to step inside and close the door. And I want you to watch the canvas up top here as it creates a vacuum bond so you can close the door, stay inside, run the roof down, and that will pull the canvas in as you're lowering the roof down. And as you can see, it pulls right in. And now you would lower the roof the rest of the way down and go out and attach the roof latches. 
And moving to the inside, on the left-hand side, this is where we were run, running the roof up and down. On the left-hand side, you can turn it off completely. So if you buy the remote to run the roof, um, if it's in your pocket, you don't have to worry about the roof going up and down. But there's the on-off switch there and the up and down. And we'll move to the inside here. And you'll notice first off up top here, we do have the queen size mattress. That is an actual 60 by 80 queen mattress. And that does lay east to west. Above that is going to be the power vent fan that we had turned on. That is a three speed fan with lots of power and creates a nice breeze in here. Couple storage doors um, on the outside of the bed there. On the right hand side, you do have a 12 volt charge port and your thermostat for the furnace. And moving around to the left hand side is going to be your kitchen area. Have a nice 110 outlet there. A single bowl sink that has the cover for prep space if you're not utilizing the sink. And a two burner stove top that has the glass cover. So you can also use that as prep space if you're not cooking. Underneath that, that is your furnace on the left hand side. And on the right hand side is for your on-demand water heater. That is where you would actually control the temperature for the water. I'm going to step back here and point out our new cabinets up above. Um, they are the, the hanging cabinets here. They're vinyl and they have the zipper on the front. So you can actually unhook those completely, take them inside and load them up and bring them back out here. And you, you do get more storage with these. So they are quite a bit um, larger than what, what we've had in the past. A large counter space in the back here. And this would be right when you walk in on your left hand side. The refrigerator freezer combo here. That is gas, electric and 12 volt. And then you do have some nice storage drawers on the left side as well. And then as you walk in directly on your right hand side, have more counter space up there. Lots of storage. You have the drawer on the left hand side and the door as you walk in with lots of storage there as well. Another 110 outlet. And then you do have the dinette seating here. And this also turns into a bed for another sleeping space, which you'll see on our pictures online. And then where the table leg is down there, that carpeted piece lifts up so the table leg can store underneath there if you're gonna turn it into a bed. And there's also a little bit of storage down there. And last but not least, down below here, on the left-hand side is your breakers and your fuses. In the middle, the top toggle switch is for your water pump to turn that on and off. On the bottom with the green light is your carbon monoxide detector and you also have another 110 outlet down below. And I believe that concludes the walkthrough of our Palomino SS1200. Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you for watching and have a great day.